Hi guys, it's Dee from Sarah Designs. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all having a good day. As you can tell by the title, today's video is another Timu haul. This will be my second Timu haul. Uh, second time I've ordered from there. Uh, if you're not familiar with Timo, it is a, I believe, a China-based company. They make very um, inexpensive products um, and ship them around the world. So they give you free shipping. Um, they guarantee 14-day shipping or you get a $5 credit. Um, their items are not top quality but they are functional and they're extremely extremely inexpensive um i don't know about you guys but i'm struggling financially with all the inflation going up but the cost of items going up but my paycheck didn't go up so anyway timu does help with that um they, right now they have a 90 percent off of up to 90 percent off of most items for mother's day um and then I guess after Mother's Day, they'll have another promotion going on. Um, I have some notes here, so I don't forget. Um, I'll link below. There's a 30%. You can get 30% off your first order if you um, when you buy from them. I'll link a, a, a code below for you. And let me see. You can earn free or credits and free items. Um, which I've done and I'm going to show you one today and they have everything from appliances to kids clothes to kids toys to uh, smart home items electronics I'm looking at my list here sorry patio and lawn and garden tools makeup health uh, makeup and health um, pet supplies electronics um, crafting supplies which is mainly what I do I'm a paper crafter um, I like to make cards and whatnot. Um, also, while I was perusing through my account the other day, I noticed something that I didn't know before and I haven't seen anybody talk about. So, um, something that Timu does and uh, pretty exciting stuff. Um, so, stay tuned to the end. Yeah, I'm going to keep you here till the end. Um, and then I will reveal to you what I discovered. So, um... Quickly, real quickly, I want to go through, um, I placed my order on the 14th of April. Um, so, which means with their 14 day delivery, it should arrive by April 28th. Uh, I got a notification on 417 that my order was packed. On 418, it was awaiting shipment and then it was shipped that same day. Uh, April 19th, it arrived at the airport and was awaiting its flight. How full cool is that? Um... April 21st, it departed on its flight. April 22nd, it cleared through customs, so it does go through customs. If you guys have ordered from there before, you'll notice, I don't have the package, it's upstairs, um, that it's re-taped up because they open it up, they go with customs, goes through it, and then they re-tape it up. That's why it looks like it looks uh, when you get it. Um, anyway, clear customs on the 22nd. On the 23rd, it arrived at the airport. I believe the air, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe the airport is in Jersey, New Jersey. I'm in Delaware. I moved from Pennsylvania to Delaware about a year ago. Um, and the last package I received and this package I received had a return shipping thing or the, you know, the label on there, um, postmark saying it was from Jersey. Um, so anyway, it arrived at the airport on the 23rd. I didn't receive any more information until the 28th, which was the day it was supposed to be here. And I received a text message midday saying, your, your order is late, here's your $5 credit. And that $5 credit was in my account right then and there. Um, and then on the 29th, which was the very next day, I received a notification saying your, I don't, your items are out for delivery. And then I did get it mid afternoon. So that's that. That's all of my announcements, except for at the end. So today we're going to do a little, something a little different um, out here on my front porch, as you can see. I don't usually show my face because I'm not comfortable with it, but I'm doing it today. Um, also, I'm going to try to demo some of these items to see if they really do work. So, uh, I only ordered 14 items. It was a small, uh, small order. And we will go 
through my list. So I'm going to link everything I purchased below here for you. I'll also link the Timu's site for you. And I think that's it. Okay. All right, guys, the first item I got was a four pack of these drain cleaner thingies. You've seen them on TV all the time. They come to four in a pack. They were $1.79 for four. I hate this package sound, so I took one out. I took everything out of their packages for the most part um, so that you don't have to listen to that sound. But anyway, they were $1.79 for four of them. They're plastic. You can see here the way it was shipped. It's kind of bent in the middle. You see how the plastic is right there? It's like cheap, cheap plastic. But anyway, it's got these barbs. See them? Barb, like barbed wire almost. Anyway, it's to help clear your drains. So, um, we bought this house about a year ago and the upstairs bathroom, the sink always clogs up. So, I got this. We're going to try it and see if we stick it in there, what comes out. So, I hope it's not gross. Um, so, let's go up and do that now. All right, guys, we're at the upstairs sink. We're going to try out this drain cleaner thingy, my Bob. So as you can see, we have standing water here. It does drain, it drains extremely slowly. I'm hoping I could just stick this down in here. Oh. Difficult to get out. It did pull out some junk. Ew. What a hair. Alright, let's try this side. Oh, oh a lot just came out. This actually works. This actually works. See if we can get more out. It's kind of getting stuck. Oh my gosh. You guys see this? Let's put more water in. We can get more junk out. I'm sorry if this is grossing any way out. Nope, nothing more there. I'm just trying to go around the sides of this thing. It's still kind of slow. There's got to be something more in it. I wonder if it's... Oh, there was a bunch of something there. Let it go back down. It's like animal fur, like cat fur. It is working. I just don't know that I'm getting it down far enough, but I can't go down any farther. Yeah, this is not, this has got to be down at the elbow and I don't think I'm getting down to the elbow. worked so far I mean it got all that out so I guess as long as you don't have to go too far down it is draining a lot faster than it did before so I would say this one was a success other than not being long enough we got all that mess out of there
What do you guys think about that? That's pretty cool. I just wish I could get it all. I think if it was a little longer. Yeah, there's nothing else in there I can get. If it was a little longer, I think we'd be good. But it is what it is. I'd say it's a success. We got a lot out. So, okay, that was cool. So, the next item we have is the dryer vent cleaner. It's this here. It's wood. Metal. Brush. Nothing special. It. You can bend it. This was two dollars and thirty-eight cents. You get one, um, and this is you go put it inside your dryer. You know you have the vent where you um, lift out the lint. Well, down underneath there, you get a bunch of lint. So we're gonna try this out. I told my boyfriend he was gonna clean it the other day, and I'm like, no, I need a demo. I want to see if this thing works. So that's what we're doing. Let's go down to the cellar. It's not a basement. It's a creepy cellar. But let's go down and see what we can get out of the dryer. I'll see you down there. All right, guys, we're gonna try out this dryer vent cleaner thingy. So here's my lint, my little lint catcher. That's not the problem. My problem is the stuff inside here. I wanna see if this thing works and cleans it out. Right out. Oh, getting some stuff. There's no way. Is this good down there? Oh, yeah, it is. <gasps> Look at it all. I'm just moving it every which way. Oh my gosh. Well. It's like a fire waiting to happen. That's scary. this item works absolutely was it worth it absolutely would i buy it again absolutely i'm gonna get one for sarah's new house it is making <laughs> quite a fuzzy mess but i'm getting a bunch it's not as Yucky as I thought it would be. I thought it'd be a little more satisfying. We usually only do laundry once a week, though. My boyfriend and I here, so. Oh, big glob just came out. So it's not like we have a ton of laundry. See the mess. I made a mess. I did get all that. That's interesting. That I definitely recommend. Highly recommend. But now I have a huge mess in there. A huge, huge, fuzzy mess. the floor. Thumbs up for this. Well, that worked out really well. Um, very impressed with that. So I do recommend. The next item we have is this flashlight. It was $4.18. You may or may not have seen it on this site. I saw somebody else that purchased it, demoed it. It looked cool. I want to try it. I wanted to see for myself. It is pretty hefty. 
but it's super cheap plastic. It does come with a USB wire. Here, somewhere. USB is how you charge it. There's no batteries. It has, I don't know what type. Is that a type C or whatever charger? I don't know. That goes right into here and you charge it up. And this already came charged, so I checked it out. It also has this huge bar here with a light and then four big lights here. So we're going to try it out. Warning when I hit the, this the third time, look away if you have, if you're subject to seizures, uh, because this is like, a, it has a strobe light on it too. So, let's see how bright. It's very, very bright. It's got a blue undertone. Next one, it goes dimmer. Now here's a warning, look away if you're uh, subject to seizures. Strobe light. And then when you turn it off completely, this lights up. That would actually be, that'd be pretty cool for crafting. Anyway, that's this. Obviously it's daylight here. I wanted to check it out outside. It's obviously daylight here now, but we're gonna turn off the lights and we're going to go out back and try it in the backyard. Okay guys, we're in my backyard. I have all the lights off back here. It is a very large and dark backyard without lights. So this flashlight is extremely bright, as you can see. I took it over to the corner of my yard, which is really dark. You'll see that in a second. And it's a scary little spot and it brightens the whole thing up. So that was good. I wanted to see how far up in a tree it would go and it goes all the way up to the top. That tree's in my yard. This tree here is the my neighbor's yard and it went up to the top of her tree. This one's even further back. I tried to get that, it wouldn't do. But anyway, it does brighten up the entire space. So do I recommend this flashlight? Absolutely. I think I might get a couple more. That was so cool. I like that. That was $4.18 for that light. So well worth it, I believe. Um, next item is a pet hair remover. I keep seeing these everywhere, everywhere. Like not just on Timu, just everywhere. I have six cats and two dogs in this house. One dog and three of the cats are going up to my daughter's house. Um, she's getting ready to make settlement in a week or two. So three of the cats and one of the dogs is going up there. Meanwhile, you can imagine we have a lot of pet hair. Um, this little doohickey was only 99 cents. One side's got this like little teeth on it. They're not really sharp or they don't hurt. And then the other side has teeth on it as well. Can you see? So I, again, told my boyfriend not to touch the dining room chairs because we have two cats, two black cats that like to sit on them and their fur gets everywhere. So I'm like, don't touch them. I want a demo. So we're going to go demo this now. You guys got here fast. <laughs> Hi. Okay, we're going to demonstrate the pet fur. Let me get that light out of your face. The pet fur remover thingy. So I'm going to put you down. Matter of fact, here's one of the culprits right there. So I'm going to put you guys down a little bit so you can see the chair. We can demo this. Hopefully you can see it okay. See all the black fur? So let's see if it works. We're going to try this side first. See what it does. Oh, it's scraping the heck out of my... Um, I don't know that I like that. It's scraping my fabric here. do the other side that seems to be working better but not it's not scraping my fabric if I do it lightly it won't pull my fabric I guess oh you can hear it I mean it is getting it off
it does work. I mean, look at it all. It's working. I just feel like it's gonna mess up my upholstery here. I mean, we got a lot of fur. Can make a mouse. What I usually use when cleaning this is a wet rag. So, let's see what else we can get up using the wet rag. See if anything more comes up. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. All right, here's a wet rag. Actually, this is in the video towards the end, but I damped it, I dampened it. And usually what I do is I'll take a paper towel, a damp paper towel, and wipe it through. You can see all the fur coming off of it now. So, does that item work? Um, a little bit. Maybe, maybe it's just this particular piece of furniture, this particular upholstery. It doesn't work for. I don't know. I got that much more off of it using my wet, wet rag. So I don't want to say it's a bust. I'm just saying it's not... It's just, maybe it'll work with another piece of furniture. I'll have to see what else I have around here, but it was very cheap, so. Inexpensive, I mean. Um, so maybe it works on somebody else, but now I have to walk around and do all of the chairs because I told my boyfriend not to touch them, and now I have to go around and do them all with the wet rack. Should have just had him do them. <laughs> Guys, that was pretty interesting, exciting stuff we have going on today. All right, um, next item is was a free item because I purchased so much. I guess last time I don't know why, but I got a, I. They give you promotions all the time. Every day I'm getting an, a text message and an email saying, "Hey, um, you could get ten percent off of this, or you have a five dollar credit, or a five cent credit, or whatever it is." Um, every day they send you something and, um, I do put uh, items in my cart. I go through it often and I put items in my cart, but then I don't buy them yet. Like I wait. Um, and then I'll say, oh, there's only two left. So get it now. Get it while the getting's good. Oh, you lost out on that item. Um, we'll let you know when it restocks. Then they'll contact me back and say, oh, it restocked. If you want to get it, get it now. It's a hot item. So on and so forth. So anyway, I got a free gift. There was a list of items that I could choose from, and I was going through them for, it seemed like forever. And I was like, I don't know what free gift I want. Obviously, they're not really expensive gifts. They're not like, you know, $30 or whatever. But so um, my boyfriend's uh, he gets eaten alive in the summertime by mosquitoes. So I was like, oh, look, they have this mosquito hat thing that you put on top of a hat and you can sit with it outside and not get bit by mosquitoes. And he's like, oh, get that. Well, I got it. Here's the picture. I don't have a hat with me or I would demo. I'm gonna put it on my head anyway, but it's a mosquito head net. So I can't wait to see him with this one. I haven't shown it to him yet. It's green. It looks black, but it's actually green. It has elastic here. It's got this flat top here. All right, oh, I forgot I have my glasses on. <laughs> I can just see him outside while we're having a fire, sitting by the fire. I don't know how he's going to drink his drink. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is ridiculous. I guess it'll work if you're going outside, honey. You can see out of it. It does. Your your it does look like a screen. I. <laughs> I'm 
I'm so anxious to see him with this one. I didn't show him yet, like I said, but... And I don't think he'll let me put a hat on him and let him demo it. But if he does, I'll put a picture in. I don't think he will, though. Um, anyway, that was my free gift. So, like I said, if you're, like, going out to the swamp or you're a fisherman or a hunter or you know somebody like that, this will be perfect. But for us to sit out in the backyard around the fire or just chilling outside or whatever or him doing yard work with this thing on his head i don't see that happening but that's that <clears throat> too funny okay um as i said before i am a crafter i like to do paper crafts and so i only bought a few craft items because in this haul i wanted to try other items my last haul was all crafting items so i wanted to try other items that weren't just craft related um, to see the value and the, um, uh, the quality. So anyway, um, I did, I couldn't resist. So I love crosses. I collect crosses. I have a million crosses. Every room in my house has a cross, at least one cross. Um, so anyway, they had these cross, um, dies and they were dies, cross, cross. A dollar forty nine. I'm sorry, I was looking for the price. A dollar forty nine. This is the cross. I have no idea what these things do. This obviously I know. This I'm guessing goes around it, and then I don't know. I I don't know if somebody knows. Let me know. It did not have any pictures with it. The picture that they had with it was another cross. Um, I love it. I think it's pretty. I thought it was going to be much bigger. It's a little. I gotta learn to read the, the the descriptions. I don't do that well. But at the end of this video, I'm going to post what I've made, or I'll I'll demo what this looks like. Um, also, I got this border or this. Uh, I don't see it here. Where is it? This die. Um, it's a cutting die again. I believe this was a dollar forty nine as well. Do I have it? Dollar forty nine for the one cross die, and then oh, it's a lace die. Two forty eight was the lace die. So I'll put a picture here of their sample, and then we'll try it out at the end. So that's it. Also, to stay in with the crafting situation, I saw this. They had online a whole bunch of paintbrushes. They said they're water acrylic painting brushes. So you get six pieces of the flat brush and five of the pointed thin brush, pointy brush they call it. These were $1.98. So you get 60, they're little nylon brushes. But I like to paint a little bit here and there. They're plastic, they're cheap, they're nothing to write home about, but they were 98 cents, guys, for 11 brushes. I don't know why they don't give you 12, six and six, but that's that. 98 cents, you can't go wrong. All right, next is a stencil. I love stencils. I make stencils. I have a ton of stencils. Um, this stencil was 78 cents for this really cool stencil. This one I did keep in the packaging. I hate that noise. It's this. It says it is a, I thought it said layer, uh, five by eight. So it's pretty big. It's a pretty big stencil. One piece light DIY layering stencil. I don't know what it means by layering. I guess you can put it there, move it, different colors. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. I just took it out of the package you saw. So, 
we shall see how this works out again we'll play with it at the end I'll post a picture of stuff I do with it that is that and then I believe just a couple more items guys um <coughs> excuse me this is actually kind of funny oh wait that stencil what I say was yeah that's good okay I told you the price 70 cents okay uh, this one here, <laughs> this, this item's kind of funny. It's actually 3D foam DIY oil painting picture frame. It's pretty, right? So it says it, it was $2 and 18 cents. It says it's, I do inches, I'm in America, um, 90.6 inches by 1.8. So it's 1.8 by 90.6. There's a roll. It has a sticky back. And for those of you who do the metric system, it's 230 by 4.5 centimeters. Um, so anyway, it was $2.18. You get a roll of it. It comes like this. And it has an adhesive. Not very strong adhesive, but my thought process was this will be really pretty in my bathroom. As I said twice now, we just moved here about a year ago. We've been here a year. I use that bathroom every single day. So I was like, and it's pink. It's like a pale pink. So I was like, oh, this will be a really pretty, like, chair border thing. So I was going to try to demo for you and see if it would stick. Um, I was thinking to myself, my boyfriend likes to take really hot showers, but I was like, I wonder if that would actually stick to the wall because, you know, it would be humid and all. I was like, I oh, will try it if it doesn't. Okay. It only cost us two dollars and eighteen cents. We'll try it out. I didn't think a full ninety inches was going to work, but I wanted to just try it and see. This morning I went in when I was thinking about doing this video, and I was sitting there and I look over. There's already a chair chair rail there. There's a white, nice little chair rail around. I sit in there every day, at least four or five times a day. I'm in that bathroom. Never noticed. Never noticed. So, I also do diamond painting, so I might just use this for what it was intended and use it as a frame. But it's got like, it's like really foamy. It does look, it doesn't look high quality, high end. From far away, it's pretty, but up front, not so much. So, my dumbass. Alright, last two items we have is this lace. So I'm hoping it's the same. I already purchased it on my last video. It was $2.08. I, I didn't take it out yet because I already know what it's like, it looks like. It's very good quality. Um, the lace, you get three yards of it. I like it a lot. I've used, I have used. The reason I wanted it is because right next to me here, and I'll show you guys in a second, I have a planter. I have a lot of plants in this room. This is my front porch. Um... And I have a heater in here because it's enclosed, but it's not um, climate controlled. Sorry, tacos barking. But anyway, um, let me see if I can move you guys to see it. See, I have this, and I didn't like it was it was without it. Let me try to move you guys down, 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 down. I don't know how to do it without messing you all up. I'm going to drop this whole thing. See here? So I ran out. I thought that was way prettier. I don't know if you can see it. That's way prettier than that. So I bought... I didn't buy enough. This is my problem. So I didn't buy enough to do the whole thing. So I had to get more. So I hot glued it on there. I had blister. I still have a blister on my finger from the hot glue. My suggestion is use those little silicone gloves things. If you're gonna hot glue, be careful, cause it hurts. Okay, last item we got. This was kind of a Debbie Downer. I was kind of disappointed in this because I got these towels. They were 
$2.18. It says 10 slash 20 pieces. So I guess I could have opt, I could have gotten 20. Anyway, they looked so much bigger than they came. And again, I should have read the directions, but I didn't learn the instructions. But you do get one, two, three, four, five of each color, three colors. Um, but they're small. There's dish towels. Taco, stop. They're dish towels. So I apologize for the dog. Stop. Um, but they're small, but they're absorbent. They seem to be absorbent. They're like microfiber. They're super, super soft. I could use them for cleaning or whatever, and then just throw them in the wash instead of using paper towels, which like I said, money is tight these days. So if I could just use these, throw them in the wash and then save some money on paper towels if you're in, um, that's what we call them here in America. I guess you guys call them something rolls. Oh, uh, what do you call them there? In England, kitchen rolls. But anyway, that's that. So, they were $2.18. Uh, two more items. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I also found, saw this bag, which I really liked. It's a little handbag. First thing. It's faux leather. Pretty pink. Zippers. You put your phone in here, which I haven't tried yet, and it's got another spot here. Another spot there, clear plastic. And then it also has a strap to make it longer. And this is the crossbody, um, dark pink. I got it, for, this was 518. So I'm gonna try it out. I put everything, excuse me, <clears throat> my um, ID and cards and all that are in my phone, my phone case. So I was like, oh, let me just try that. I can just wear it over me and my phone's with me. I don't have to have a hand because my current phone case does not have straps. So I have to carry it. So that I got. I really like it a lot. I'm going to try it in a minute. And oh, this is the last item. Like I said, I'm a paper crafter. I have a Cricut machine. I also have a Brother Scan and Cut. I think I'm going to give the Cricut machine to my daughter because I love the Brother Scan and Cut. But I am a big Cricut fan also, but I don't need two machines. My craft room is really small. Like I said, she just bought a house and she's getting ready to make settlement in a couple weeks. So she's going to have a craft room set up up there. Um, but anyway, they have the, the mats. This is a standard sticky mat. Um... It didn't say Cricut on it, but it's a standard mat. It's one piece. I only got the one. 12 by 12. Unique Universal. It says 12 by 12. One piece green mat. Sticky. It's $2.48. These things are so expensive. Now, it did come bent like this. I mean, it did come from China. So, I mean, I could probably put something on it. It does have that plastic I don't like. But the sticky mat, is. it's a sticky mat. It's very comparable to to the cricket I keep trying to fold so for two dollars versus I don't even know what they cost now because I haven't bought one in so long I think the last time I bought one they were like nineteen dollars for one um, the standard grip mat now they did have the blue the lighter grip mat and the purple the heavier one or is that backwards but anyway I just figured let me try it and see if it works so I'm going to try it out tonight because I have some things I want to cut on the Cricut so we'll see how that works out but reviews have shown that these are phenomenal now guys what you've been waiting for I'm going to get to it I'm sorry and you some of you probably fast forward right to this end piece which is fine I need my glasses for this one um, when I was going through my account, I noticed on this, uh, let me give you my totals first real quick. Um, I had a five cent credit on this order. I don't know why. My uh, item total was $71.07. $71 Items that were discounted was $41.90. So my total, total came to $29.07. I had a free gift. My five cents off came to $29.12. I saved $41.95. Yes, 
yay. So as I was going through stuff, and then I noticed on this side, I can't pull it up because it's not there now. I, I guess once you place an order and pay for it, you can see on this side, it was on the, on like, I don't want to put my address here. Like on this side, and it said refunds um, about your order. I don't know. It had a few little things on the side, on the right-hand side. And it said... price adjustment and I was like what the heck is a price adjustment so I clicked on it and what they do is if you purchase something within 30 days and let's say you purchase something for two dollars well today now it go it's going for a dollar you hit that price adjustment they adjust it and they refund you back that dollar so um I was like what in the world so I'm going to read their price adjustment policy to you. Pri uh, items purchased from the Timu are eligible for our price adjustment policy. Timu will provide the price difference if the list of the same item, of the same color, size, etc. from the same shop was reduced within 30 days of purchase in the same country or region. Items that are promotional, no longer available, on clearance, etc. may not be eligible for our price adjustment policy. The shipment of your order will not be affected by applying for a price adjustment before you receive your items. Fees included, but not limited to, shipping fees, fees including, but not limited to, shipping fees will be excluded for any price adjustment calculations. I, they don't charge me shipping. I don't know if they do in other places, but I have not paid for shipping yet. Um, Timu reserves the right to the final interpretation of price adjustment policy the right to modify terms of this policy at any time or the right to deny any price adjustment at our sole discretion. So I was like, that's pretty cool. What the heck? So I pushed the price adjustment thing and a couple items came up and it said you were charged $1.50 when it was a dollar or whatever. So my total, it's not much, but it's they refunded me and it went in my account the very next day. It's not a credit. It goes back into your account that you paid with was a dollar ninety eight. So a dollar ninety eight has been refunded to your original payment account. I think that's awesome. My thing is though I kind of feel bad for Timo is that what if they have an item that was a dollar or I'm sorry, um yeah, dollar fifty now and then next week they charge you two dollars for it. I don't it just I, I feel like they're losing out, but I mean it's good for us. So, I don't know. I think that's good. I think that's awesome that they do that. Um, so, you guys look out for that. Look on the side after you place your order. You have to pay for the order first. After you place your order. And then you can check back within 30 days. Every day, look back and see. Hey, can I get a price adjustment? Can I? I believe you can only do it once per item. Um, but just keep looking every day and saying, oh, well, let me try. And they push the price adjustment thing and see if it, see if it works for you. So... All right, guys, that's the video for today. Please, again, like, subscribe, um, and make a comment. Please, only nice comments. We don't like negativity on our channel because there's enough negativity in this world. So we're trying to keep the channel a happy channel. So I hope you guys like this video. Please let me know. Um, I have another haul video coming soon. Um, I didn't place the order yet. I have to wait a little bit because I had to pay some bills first. Um, and then I'm going to be placing another order it's a very large order actually it's like almost a hundred dollars don't tell my boyfriend he better not be watching ignore delete delete don't look <laughs> dude don't look anyway um <laughs> so yeah that's that's gonna be a haul video coming up soon um and meanwhile i will be doing some crafting videos in between and i'll post pictures of the crafts that i do um here in a second. So thanks for watching guys. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.